politics and protest. The goal of this union and this collective is not to tear down. It is not to end the Morales bid. For weeks, they've worked to help Diane Morales become New York City's next mayor. But now campaign staffers tell PIX11 more than half of their team will not return to work until Morales meets their demands. On the PIX11 Morning News, Morales opened up about the turmoil within her campaign. I became aware a couple of weeks ago of um, allegations of a white staff member engaging in what uh, staff uh, experienced as racist behaviors. Um, and the other was that I became aware of a staff member uh, who uh, was allegedly harassing, sexually harassing some of the women on the team. Ultimately, the buck stops with Diane. Another staffer described to PIX11 a gender pay gap. The white man that ended up working under me was making more money than me, even after I was promoted to work above them. He was making at least $1,000 more than me a month. Earlier this week, several members of the Morales team resigned, including the campaign manager. Dozens of the remaining staffers said it's time for change. They wanted to unionize, and I immediately, without hesitation whatsoever, said absolutely. But Thursday, four union leaders were fired. The, the four people in question were people that came up as, as people that needed to be removed so that we could actually have the staffing structure that we need to move forward. That's when staffers decided it is time to march. They showed up outside Morales' Midtown headquarters with a list of demands. They want the fired union leaders to get their jobs back, and they want access to their belongings, saying Morales locked them out of the office. I asked the deputy campaign manager, do you still believe New Yorkers should vote for Diane Morales? I think voters have to make their own decisions. I can speak to the fact that Diane has an opportunity to communicate to voters how she would run this city. If elected mayor Diane Morales would oversee a workforce of over 300,000 city employees, Morales insisted today she has no plans to drop out of the race.